Hello and welcome back to you, Scarsword HD. In the last episode, we began searching for a new entrance into a Linnea Mining Facility in our pursuit of Zelda. Um, but off screen, I played more of that Thrill Digger minigame, and I got pretty lucky, and I managed to fill up my wallet. So in this episode, it'll be dedicated to doing a bit of shopping, spending some rupees, upgrading our gear, because we did explore a new region in the game, which gave us access to a lot of new material, specifically uh, these ancient flowers and these tumbleweed. Um, so we probably have we probably have the ability to upgrade our gear, um, which is an ability we didn't have before because we were missing some materials. But let's see. Oh, yeah. Upgrade gear. <laughs> um, the bug net. That we need. evil crystal. Okay. Dusk relic. Ooh, we can upgrade the beetle beetle so it's faster. It's pretty nice. Ooh, we can upgrade the shield too. That's the final upgrade for that shield. Monster claw we're missing. Another monster claw. Okay, so let's upgrade. Um, let's upgrade this, the beetle for sure. All right, go for it. You've upgraded to the quick beetle. It flies faster than the beetle. Watch where you're flying, Speedy. Awesome, that'll be so useful in this upcoming dungeon. Um, and hopefully we still have enough material. Oh, we can upgrade it again. We're missing a goddess plume. Interesting, okay. Oh, yes, we can upgrade the shield, awesome. Go for it. You upgraded to a braced shield. This very sturdy shield is much tougher than the standard wooden shield. All right, awesome. So all we need is a goddess plume. And that's actually a perfect segue to something we'll also do in this episode. But first of all, these upgrades are fantastic. The wooden shield is the shield we use in the sand realm. Um, so it's great that we upgraded it to its fullest potential. And also the beetle is something that we'll be using a lot in this upcoming dungeon. So it's great that we upgraded it to be faster. While we're here though, let's buy a rejuvenating potion just to spend some extra cash. Never hurts. Awesome. And all right. Let's also check out Beetle's Air Shop and see if he's got anything good for us. And oh, this will also be the opportunity to show off the new Quick Beetle upgrade. So you can choose to go faster. It's really, really useful because that Beetle without upgrades is pretty slow. All right, let's grab on. Where is it? There we go. All right, Beetle, what do you have for us this time? Hopefully another wallet at least. Nope, doesn't look like he's got a wallet. Oh, we can buy the last adventure pouch. I think we have just enough rupees. 1200 that is a ripoff but i need it you made your adventure pouch bigger you can now fit an additional item inside and that's the last adventure pouch in the game awesome and look at that we spent <laughs> so i'm actually really i really really love these shopping slash dungeon prep episodes um because our objective is essentially um upgrade our gear, which we did with the shield and with the beetle and making it faster. Um, and also spend rupees um, so you don't get a full wallet in dungeons because you get a lot of rupees in dungeons and we've managed to do that. We actually have 70 rupees left. So let's, let's do another mini game, not Thrill Digger. Um, I want to show you guys a new mini game that we haven't had the opportunity to check out yet on this channel. Um, and it's fitting because there's actually a goddess cube or a goddess chest um, in the place where this minigame is. And I actually don't think I've shown you guys me unlocking a goddess chest. I might have um, in episodes prior, but let's just, to be safe, show you guys what it looks like to unlock a goddess cube. Or unlock a uh, goddess chest, sorry. Um... Okay, it's that island. Whoa, watch the tornado. 
Uh, it's all right. It's the island up top there. Oh, the mini game island is actually going to be to our left a little, but it's fine if we make this small detour. Whoa, oh jeez, these tornadoes come out of nowhere. And jump. And let's open it, see what's inside. Awesome, another piece of heart. Uh, and if we come down here... Uh, there should be a sign. Yeah. Out to work for the day. Those who have business for me can find me here at night. Beetle. So this island is actually where Beetle sets up shop. It's pretty cool. And we'll have the opportunity to visit Wild Beetle's home at a later time. Uh, but for now, let's go to that mini game I was talking about earlier. Do a bit of a dive. Ooh, you can really feel that in the pits of your stomach, can't you? And one flap. Another dive. Let's catch this boost here. There we go. And here we are. Let's go inside. Whoa, is that you, Link? Never thought I'd run into you here. What is this place? This here is my secret spot where I come to work out the kinks of my sword arm. There was a time I was the most popular guy in all of Skyloft. The folks were always cheering me on like it was a parade. But as you know, time passes. And I'm not the young buck I used to be. I eat when I get stressed and I'm worried about my darling daughter all the time. I mean, look at this belly. So that's what drives a fowler here to chop some bamboo. Let me tell you, there's no better way to sweat off those pounds. Here's an idea, Link. Why don't you try slicing some bamboo? Sure. That's a spirit. Chop away, boy. Hold up a second. Get your horses holded. There's got to be a way to spice things up a notch of three. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, that's a ticket right there. You're going to take a swing at whittling down to that big old bamboo right there in the middle of the room. Thing is, see? It's a contest to see how many cuts you can get before it hits the ground. If you're good enough, you'll stroll out of here with a prize. It'll cost you ten rupees to see what you're made of. You want to give it a try? You bet. Alright, get to slicing. All right, this. Remember, in the Wii version, you have to play this game with motion controls. But now, because there's the option to do button controls, it completely breaks this mini game, and it makes it super easy. I'll show you how it's done. This mini game was literally not made for button controls. Like, there's no way with motion controls that you'd be able to do that many slices. Hold up, son, you're all done. Let's count those cuts. Your score this time is 36. That is one hum ding a linger of a score. I only reached that number a few times myself. Here's a prize. And he gives us super rare treasures if we do well. Come on back whenever you feel like you might want to chisel up that sword arm. And remember, we needed a goddess plume, which is this item here. And he can give us one if we do well enough. Um, so we're going to keep playing until we get a goddess plume. And then we can upgrade the beetle one more time. But yeah, it's really, really funny um, how much this game was just not meant to be um, played with motion or played with button controls. I did a little worse this time, but uh, I think we, we're still in the range of getting a good prize. Okay, golden skull. All right, I want a, I want a goddess plume, so give me one of those. Hopefully this is enough to get a goddess plume. Blue bird feather. Okay, I'll take that. I mean, but I really want that goddess plume. Oh shoot, that was a bad cut. 
Um, I think for if you get like 15 to 20, he gives you like 30 rupees. Um, and then if you get like 20 to 27, 28 maybe slices, then he gives you like a pretty okay prize. Um, and then if you get like 30 or above, he gives you like a really good prize. Oh shoot, that was a... Uh, I don't think we got it this time either. Ah, uh, shoot. Um, we're starting to run out of rupees too, so I think what I'm going to have to do is aim for like 18, and then he'll give us 30 rupees back so we can keep playing. No, 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 come back. Dang it. Oh no. Thank God we didn't, um, we didn't do this when we only had 10 rupees left. Yeah, so he told us, sorry I skipped over the dialogue, but he told us that the reason why we couldn't get that many slices is because our sword is too short. And yeah, at this point in the game, you literally should not be able to get that many slices. Um, but just because it's so easy to do it with a button control, um, we were able to get like these crazy scores. And that also hints that we will get longer swords as the game progresses. No, please. I, I think that's enough. It I might have needed 18. Okay, thank God. Okay, we got three more tries. Um, Alright. Alright, let's try to get like 27, which is my favorite number. No, 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 no. Shoot. Right, I guess the con of button controls is that sometimes it can be a little janky. And we got 30 bucks. Alright, great. I'm not leaving until I get that goddess plume, man. No! I don't know why the controller doesn't work sometimes. Alright. I know, I know, I know. Just let me try again. I'm going to keep doing this until I run out of money. It's funny, if you guys watch the Thrill Digger episode, um, one of my friends commented that you really shouldn't. Like, this episode is a really good is really good evidence that you should just never go gambling. Alright, we got 28, whatever. Um, just because I kept on playing and playing and playing, um, even though I was losing like a lot of money. Oh, finally! You got a goddess plume. Rumors say this item was dropped by the goddess in a long forgotten era. It's a legendary treasure few will ever behold. Thank God we managed to get one. So it looks like 27, like high 20s is the number. We'll do it one more time. Just to see if we get another goddess plume. Um, but yeah, my friend commented like, yeah, this is evidence of the fact that you should never go gambling just because you don't know when to stop. I didn't mean to go that far. Okay, well, I promised myself that was my last stop. Or that was my last try, so. Uh, Alright. Thanks, old man. Alright, now let's head back to Skyloft and do that final beetle upgrade. And then in the next episode, we'll that's when we'll go back to Lanayu province and um, finish up the... Um, there's always a section that you have to do prior to entering a dungeon, and we're like halfway done with that. So we'll go back to Lanayu and finish up the remainder uh, once I upgrade my beetle. Aim for that little warp. And actually, we only have 20 rupees left, but I'm pretty satisfied with that. I really doubt our our rupee capacity right now is like 1,400. I really doubt we were going to get 1,400 rupees inside of a temple. Um, but it's always good to go with as few rupees as possible into a dungeon, because the dungeons really give you a lot of money. All right, let's head to the bazaar. Oh, and if you're wondering, that guy mentioned his daughter... Um, if you're wondering who his daughter is, um, I'll show you. She's actually the girl who works at the item check. Her name is Petrus. Hi. Hello, and welcome to the item check. Want to put stuff in your pouch in storage? Okay. Want to take something out of storage? That's fine. Uh, actually, yes. Um, I don't need this iron shield because it's 
conducts electricity and I have no use for it. Um, and just to make things like symmetrical, um, we'll put this here. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Come again. <laughs> I like giving her that board, uh, board voice. Alright, Gondo. Oh, shoot, Gondo. I realized I have the materials, but now I don't have the rupees. I'll be right back. I'll get enough rupees. Okay, I managed to get exactly 50 rupees. Um, so now we'll have enough for the upgrade. But literally, we cannot afford anything else. There we go. Go for it. You've upgraded to the Tough Beetle. Your beetle can now fly farther than ever before. And that's the final upgrade for the beetle. Alright. <laughs> so, at the start of this episode, we had 1400 rupees or something like that. Now we have zero. Um, but it was worth it. We bought a new adventure pouch. We played some mini games. Upgraded the beetle twice. Look how fast this thing can go now. Um, it's like a drone, basically. And yeah, well, in the next episode, we will go down back to the surface and explore Lanayru, finish up what we need to do for, before the dungeon, and then in the episode after that, we'll enter Lanayru Mine, and that'll be the third dungeon of the game. So yeah, until then, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you then.